hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um this is very exciting for me because i haven't done a video in a really long time um besides my my binder uh photo card videos um and even those i haven't done in a while um i haven't done a face to face like my face on camera type video and so i didn't think it would be this soon that i would be back with one but here we are again um if you have seen some of my videos in the past i have done ticketing videos for i believe it was ptd in la and ptd in vegas um so those videos are up if you'd like to watch um i do think it's gonna be quite a bit of a different experience this time around and i think um it will be a similar process in terms of ticketing but like the actual concert itself will be um different i don't know i don't think that made any sense but anyways um yungi announced that he's going to go on tour which i think is very surprising to a lot of us considering that yeah he came out with august uh you know d2 a little while ago but i honestly thought he was going to drop more music before he did anything like this the only member that has really done anything like this is um Hobie when he went to Lollapalooza but even that wasn't like a complete solo thing it was like a one-time event so this is definitely new um so I kind of wanted to talk about it and talk a little bit about the process of ticketing um for this concert um so I have my computer that way that's why I keep looking that way um so that I can refresh uh my mind on the mem on the so i can refresh my mind on dates um so first of all there's uh well, let's see one two three four. there's around five different places that yungi will be going but he will have multiple days for each um concert venue so he is going to be doing a show april 26th to 27th at belmont park at the ubs arena um april 29th he's going to the prudential center in new york new jersey and may 3rd 5th and 6th he's going to allstate arena in rosemont illinois may 10th 11th and 14th he's going to the q forum in la and then may 16th 17th he's going to oakland arena in oakland so not too many dates which i don't think is strange that there isn't that many days on here I believe he is going to other places as well. I, I believe he's going to Malaysia and Thailand as well, from what I've heard. But it's not surprising to me that he doesn't have as many places that he's going. Um, even the fact that he's doing this many shows is honestly really amazing. And I say this because I think the reality of it is that after Sokjin, he is the oldest member of BTS. So I expected maybe like an album and then maybe maybe a show like Hobie somewhere at a some event and then that maybe he was going to you know enlist but he didn't do that so now he's having a whole show and it's honestly really exciting and it feels like like an opportunity to see him before he does enlist so I think that's why these shows are extra special and why I really want to go um as many of you guys probably want to go too um so this time around um it is a bit similar in that you have army membership and then you have um the i believe it's called just like a army membership Army membership, verified sale, and then general pre-sale. So it's three of them. I think everyone knows by now that army membership is where you're going to get tickets. Um, the first time they ever did army membership, it was honestly very confusing. A lot of people didn't know how to do it. And it was confusing in that didn't, people didn't know if some tickets were going to be reserved for general sale, um, verified sale. And 
even i believe to Ticketmaster, it was still like it was confusing to them because they couldn't even give us a straight answer but this time they very specifically said that all tickets will be available on the army membership pre-sale which means that you have to have an army membership to be able to um verify both on weavers and on Ticketmaster, and to be able to be eligible to get a code so if you do not have an army membership you do access those on weavers and that's where you buy them they're about 22 dollars uh usd so that is where you get your membership and then you have to apply on Ticketmaster and on weavers so you have to apply on both if you don't apply on both it doesn't count and i think a lot of people have made this mistake in the past where they've only done either weavers or they've only done Ticketmaster. you don't do both it doesn't count they have to verify both in order for you to be eligible so that's what you have to do to get an army membership it's honestly very easy but it is of course costly um because you're not even guaranteed a code so you might be spending money on getting an army membership and not even getting a code so there you are running that risk that you're spending money and you're not getting it um but in my um experience it is better to at least try um so like i said not everyone's going to be getting the code i think this time around it's going to be extremely difficult to get a code because so many people now know that it's just so easy to get an army membership you know even i feel like scammers are able to get these memberships um pretty easily because all you have to do is buy them it's, there's nothing else that you have to do really so i do think it's going to be extremely difficult people get multiple um but um it's supposed to be random so it's really about luck and so that is how you're going to get a code now the other one is the verified sale that one you just do on Ticketmaster. once you apply that's it that's all you do but like i said i don't think that we are going to be getting there so all that information that i just said is available on weavers um you should have an account anyways if you're going to be registering for membership it's really important to have the same email from your weavers account and your ticket master i will try to have the same one um they do ask you for a phone number so you can technically purchase multiple ones because it's all connected by one phone number um but yeah that everything is going to be on uh weavers uh next thing are deadlines to apply for these codes and there's not really um an important date for that except that you should know that the last absolute last day that you can do it is i believe february 24th um and i see february 23rd on there too so i would say just get it done by february 23rd um because uh that is just the absolute final date that you can do it so not so it is not that important on when it started i believe it started yesterday for me which was valentine's day on the 14th um but onwards you have a couple days to do it maybe like 10 days so let's say you haven't gotten paid you still have until the 24th slash 23rd to um get an army membership and then um verify verify your army membership on weavers and Ticketmaster. so that's an important date to know um the second most important date to know is when the actual pre-sale is going to be and for army members which is the most important one because we are probably not going to get to verified sale or on uh, public on sale is going to be wednesday march 1st and the time that it absolutely starts is 3 p.m local time so whatever your local time is that's the time it's going to start um so for me i'm in um pacific um time zone so pst so whatever time 3 p.m is for me that's when it's gonna start um and it's gonna end at 10. i anticipate the actual like process or tickets going on so probably gonna last maybe max an hour um and then by like four five tickets will probably all be gone um so that is the most important date and then the verify sale was is supposed to be taking place the next day on march 2nd because um what was i saying oh but i don't i don't think it's going to get there um so yes that is the most important date 
uh yeah so now that kind of the um, logistics part of it is finished i will kind of be talking about what i'm planning to do um and that is to attend the la shows um i am from la i go to all of the la shows that i can um i am very privileged to be living here and knowing that most likely there will be a show here and there is so may 10th the 11th and 14th so that's three days right uh the only other state that they're doing three days is all state arena in rosemont illinois and i know a lot of people get upset about the fact that these kind of places la new york you know all these places get multiple days but i think they know that people will fly here to see those shows right so la is a very very popular spot for people to fly in from um nearby states uh, to go to these shows so if they only had one or two days for la i'm pretty sure those would get full really fast right so um i think they do take into account that people are going to come here um and california in general is huge guys it's absolutely massive la la california the state of california holds so many people so what i'm trying to say is that la is huge there's a lot of army here there's a lot of people that are going to come here oh my cat so there's just a lot of demand for people uh for um artists here is what i'm trying to say so it makes sense to me um that they're gonna have a lot of states here um is it fair to other states probably not but logistics wise the way they have the planet yungi can't go to every single place like it's just not possible so they chose kind of strategically where he was gonna go and now it's up to the fans if they can show up or not which is a very privileged thing to be able to do and i understand that very well and so i'm very thankful that i'm hopefully um able to go to these shows that i'm financially able to go to the shows um so yeah that's kind of my take on it um i feel like if i lived at a state that wasn't as popular wasn't as popular as california new york um illinois all these states that i would be very upset about it but i don't know i just i have to think about it in that way that it just makes sense for him to be going to these places and not other places which sucks like it really does especially to other countries um that he's not able to go i don't know it's just it does suck and i do acknowledge that um yeah um so i'm trying to go to the show may 10th and the 14th which is i believe it's a wednesday no wait may 10th is um, it's a wednesday and then i'm trying to go on the sunday which is may 14th which it's funny because may 10th in in my culture is mother's day and then may 14th is the official mother's day for like us the us um so i want to go see him on mother's day you know it is what it is um so yeah it's a weekday and a week and um i wish they could have done saturday and sunday but i don't know it's it it is what it is and i i'm not I haven't checked the other dates to see um if they are on the weekdays um i work every single day of the week except the weekends um so i would have to take the day off for that day or just go like really late um i work until 6 p.m um sometimes later so yeah um but anyways those are the days that i'm trying to go so i'm going to be trying to get tickets on those days um i'm so excited to see him i think this is really a once in a lifetime opportunity um do i think he's gonna do it again i have absolutely no idea i think there's always a chance right but i don't i just like wouldn't count on it so that's why i'm kind of 
in a frenzy where I'm like I have to go like absolutely have to go and what I do um like and what I've noticed is that for BTS shows it is hard to get tickets like through ticketing yourself like if you want to get tickets but there's always resale available is it extremely expensive sometimes yes but there they there are there are good armies out there who will give you a chance to see bts at like face value and i say this because when i went to vegas i bought um, a ticket from an army and she sold it to me face value through twitter so you can get tickets through resale and i have seen a lot of people resell their tickets like they get better tickets they sell their tickets to army so if you can get tickets i wouldn't give up i hate the that desperate feeling though where you're kind of in this like you don't know if you have tickets if you don't have tickets if you're gonna go or not i definitely know that feeling but i like i put my mind to it that you know i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and if you really search if you really um want to go like you'll find a way to go so that's for um resale it is a smaller venue it is um at least for at the shows they're in the kia forum so i've gone to forum quite a lot of times um and i wish he could have done staple center but he didn't so that's fine um so it is it is a bit smaller than uh than i think he could have done i think he could have done a little bit bigger but um you know it is what it is okay now i kind of want to talk about the set list i think the set list is gonna be immaculate i just feel it there's so many good song that songs that he has put out from his first album from like just all the solo songs that he has done plus all the the songs that he has produced i definitely think that there's going to be some of the songs that he's produced i am hoping and i feel like maybe he'll have a guest at his uh concerts i don't know i would hope so um i'm really hoping for tony montana with jimin that would be absolutely magical um and i don't think it's completely um delusional to think that that could happen it really can be anything um from all of his albums so i'm extremely excited definitely that is is gonna be on the set list i already know i absolutely love that song but even d2 is probably it's honestly probably my favorite album from the solo stuff that they've done i absolutely love d2 it's it's just an album or a mixtape that has so many songs that just speak to me so just knowing that he can perform those songs like 28 people like those songs are just like are just like so meaningful to me so i really do hope he does a lot of those songs and um that he does a lot of songs from his first mixtape as well i really like his first mixtape too um and i just thought about this just now but i really hope he does first love um every now and then i just go back to that song and i like read the lyrics and i'm, I'm so mind blown and amazed by the things that he can do with his lyricism and it's just amazing so there's definitely a lot of songs that he can do and i hope he does um all of my favorites that would be really amazing um so yeah uh but that's it that's all the information that we have so far we have no idea what ticket prices are going to be like um that hasn't been announced and from what they've done previously they don't announce prices anymore they just let you go like the day of and figure it out on your own so it's really hard to um budget for it because you just don't know the prices um i would say upward to 500 for uh like front row barricade 500 i would say it's the good price um for barricade um not a good price like obviously that's very expensive but what i mean is that that's a pretty solid price that they've done in the past 
where they've paid 500 and then kind of moving your way back for the farther you go um the cheaper it is so 500 for barricade right there vip don't know if they're gonna have vip they haven't they haven't announced any of that but if they do vip usually around the 500s silver around the 400s and the like i said the more you go backwards 300s 200s 100 dollars. i think cheap, cheapest tickets are probably going to be around 100 and most expensive are around 500 this is all speculation but from what the stuff they've done in the past i think it's pretty um a pretty good average i would say about ticket prices so i would have about that much depending on where you want to be if you want to get vip definitely definitely um have about that much ready um to go uh but yeah i think that's everything i wanted to discuss in this video if there's anything else you want me to talk about i can probably do a video on it if i haven't already kind of discussed those things in one of my past videos and you can guys you guys can watch those i've talked about prices and ticketing and those as well um but i think that's everything so um next time the for sure planned video is when i actually buy tickets or my attempt to buy tickets so hopefully i'm successful and um that i can get tickets and that'll be my next video which will be again in march march 1st that's today um so yeah, let me know if you need anything else from me and I will see you in that video. Bye.